So just just want to be clear, you wouldn't date a woman that was fifty. Uh, if she's in a menopause stage, no, hell no. You have the right to your preference. I'm just I'm just asking. I don't want to rupture myself, Kendra. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Hey, what's going on? Was you you, you were me? waving a white flag? Oh uh, no, I was wiping my glasses off. Oh, okay. Yeah. How what's are you the doing? Name, love? I've been here before. Oh, I think I remember you. You were the one. If <laughs> yeah, I, I was the one that want the person who had had dry box when it gets so old, going through menopause. That's um, you in menopause, you can't be fortified. So, just just want to be clear, you wouldn't date a woman that was fifty. Uh, if she's in a menopause stage, no, hell no. You have the right to your preference. I'm just, I'm just asking. I don't want to rupture myself, Kendra. You don't want to what? I don't want to rupture myself. There's I certain have things, cer there's certain things happen to a woman when she's going through menopause Can and they just don't work out for me. Tell me why, we're, just, I, I'm just curious. This is, I'm getting education right now. So why could you date a woman that had its menopause? Well, sometimes when women are going through menopause, I have known from my experience, they get dry as a box of crackers down there. And it's kind of, I just don't believe in false lubrication. And so I am an AKA dickman. And so you just, I ain't gonna rupture myself like that. What's up YouTube, it's your boy once again. But this time we got a little something different. We got an OG came up on the show. And uh, he came up on his dating show, and he just let him have it. He was tired of women trying to clown him. He was tired of all this talk about what old men can't do. So he came and just represented. So y'all got to check this out, because he said, uh, don't send nobody his way that's going through menopause. He ain't having it. Let's get this. This is the trip. Or what I tell you, what I found out, I found out there's some bullshit going on in the dating world. Um, this, seriously, I found out there's some bullshit going on in the dating world. Now, you just had a woman on here talking about her boyfriend had ED. If a man came up there and said, like what I said with the dry box, that's talking against women, but when a man have ED, they just rub that over. They no comments on it or anything. So this is what I'm saying. There's some bull. Let me get my glasses on. I want to see how pretty you look tonight. All right. Okay. There we go. And then you had some people get on talking about that brother is a, uh he he's so ugly that only mama can love him. And then I went on a they they, they I went on a uh Facebook. Some of these women look like they six butter biscuits from a heart attack. Goes talk about me. You know what I mean? I mean, some of them look like a stack of uh, IHOP potato, I'm going to say uh, uh, pancakes under the chin, but they go talk about me. See, and this is what I'm talking about the bullshit going on in the dating world. Um, oh, my goodness. This brother's going off, man. Um, <laughs> But it's true, though. You know, you will have somebody come on and they will throw insults all day. Then you go to their page and look at them like, what the world? And they'll call you all type of stuff because it's the Internet. That's what they do. That's what they're going to continue to do. And that's what cowards go to hide. You know, like I say, or go to fight. Put it that way. That's what cowards go to fight. But. OG here is not playing. He is speaking truth, though. He is speaking truth. A lot of ladies talk trash about dudes, but when we say something back, you know, we get chopped down. And when I say dudes having ED, I'm like, who is having all this ED? Are y'all just assuming this or what? Because dudes saying they ain't getting it enough, and then y'all saying that they ain't getting it. I, I mean, what's going on? Just because brothers start getting a little older, y'all think it stopped working? No, that ain't how that works. Why do you think all these old dudes getting all these young girls pregnant? Well, anyway, let the OG continue on, man. He's going to trip you out. Just stick around, man. This dude is crazy. He is crazy. He's funny as shit, though.
for real. Get it together, Kelly. Get, okay. get it together. But I've been out in the YouTube street listening to these young men, and I tried to be a buffer between the bullshit they saying and as far as relationship wise. But I quite understand. Listen to this, Kendra. I I specifically said I want a woman so dark she didn't have a shower. Let me keep going. Does a woman have to look a certain way? Yes, she do. She almost had to be dark, so dark she don't even have a shadow. I love dark skinned women. Right? Out of the 20 women who called me, all of them was light skinned. Not one dark skinned woman. And then they was convincing me that, uh, hey, look, uh, don't you try something different? I don't like light-skinned women. I got a reason. I really don't want to express to you what my reason is. But let me just put it this way. Every animal, animal, animal and every mammal has a smell. There are certain smells that I just don't like. You know what I mean? I mean, every race. I mean, I deal with Middle Eastern people, Indian people. All of them has specific smells. I'm very sensitive to my smell. But Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Is OG trying to say that light skinned women stink? I mean, I dated some light skinned women back in the day. Uh, a couple of them did have a look, not like a, well, she had older. She knew she had because she made a comment about it. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Do some of them, guys, y'all light skinned girls have odors? I mean, I don't know. I don't know but i mean something he's run across for sure but hey y'all let me know in the comments i have no idea if that's a true thing or not so i'm not going to comment on it so not my thing right there i want to get to the nitty-gritty of this look ladies and men who comes on your station and they point out what they want in their life and they point out what they need to give peace in their life, they shouldn't be criticized, okay? I didn't come over here and talking about, um, I just said, I just didn't want dry box. I could have said, said the no, attitude said swing. Dry box. You said a couple things. But, but I mostly said dry box, right? So yeah, dry, you was, put that, it in a cracker that, box. That little, That's what I was. Yeah, that was the, that was the, the, the driven, Stance that you didn't want a woman um, that had dry vagina, and you had an age range too, right? Yeah, and, and, and I was get that's what I was just getting to. I was called everything from a P to a everything else. Look, look, look. You look at this young generation, right? Some of these people, are thirty and forty years old, look like they're seventy and eighty as far as they shape, they the way they move. You, you understand what I'm saying? I took, I'm 65 years old. I took time to preserve my body. And I think I should have the right of the work I had to put in to preserve my body to have the choice what I like and what I want. Now, I don't pay too much attention because you got a lot of clowns that come on the internet show and the only thing they want to do is put something negative. I understand that. So I can deal with that. But then when you come into your Facebooks, and start, you know, they come in your Facebooks or they come into your YouTube page and start typing in stuff. You know what I mean? I mean, I even actually had a woman say, you won't eat. Because you remember I said, I don't care if she got tucky fried chicken in the drawers. I ain't eating nothing. So there was a lot of women who said, well, you don't eat the box. But would you would you uh, 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 lick and suck on my toes? i like, you don't lost your monkey ass mind. I'm not putting your nasty ass feet in my mouth. If you don't, I don't give a damn how much you get them Japanese and Asian people to do your toes and shit. That shit ain't gonna never get clean to me. You spend all your life walking around on your feet. You think you gonna put your feet in my mouth? I never ate pig feet, pig ears, and I'm a damn sure I ain't gonna be eating no human feet. So this is what I think is really going on in this climate. Um, okay, uh, hold on, let's just give a break. <laughs> okay. But I have noticed this too now. That dude got me crying up here. But I had noticed it too that sex now is going to the extreme. 
it's like it ain't no regular sex. You got to do the most extreme stuff with the stranger. You know, and if you don't do that, you ain't whatever. So that's why things are all going haywire now, because you got to be crazy. The things that people want people to do now. And if you're doing that, just anybody you see on the street, y'all miles going to be torn, slammed up by the time y'all get about 35, 40 years old. I can guarantee you that. I don't know why everything's going to the extreme to get a satisfaction. And if y'all got to do all that to get some kind of satisfaction, there's something wrong with you. I'm telling you. Because by the time you get about 45, 50, nobody's going to be doing all that to you. Enjoy it when you're a kid. Because nobody's doing all that when they're 45 and 50. Nope. Nope. They're not doing it. Better get your husband or somebody. He might do it. Miss G, did I think that us as a, not just black people, just the human race, that we don't do so much with our private parts. We got to do all this Olympic bullshit in the bedroom to See? please each other. I mean, if you look at the bedroom now, it's like an Olympic event. You know what I mean? You got to have his ass swinging from the chandelier while he's popping him with a fucking whip. You know, you got all kinds of bullshit going on, running around the house. And they got to have this drug, that drug, ecstasy, this right there. It's like people don't know what real love is all about. See, where I came from, when a woman really into you, hell, you can rub on the elbows, she could get a climax. You know what I mean? When she's really yeah. into you. But Hell, I've been on the dance but, floor to be dancing with but, but, but this can be true, but intimacy is also important to you. Mo what I'm saying, it is, but all this extra accessories they're bringing in there, they're not even making love to a human anymore. They they damn sure should just go ahead and rent model of 565 robot, bring them in, in the house, and just screw them to death. Because that's what they're doing. I mean, they got more toys then damn Disneyland got rides in their bedroom. And then a man supposed to be able to come in there and be able to please them. They got a damn toy in there, got 475 horsepower, and he supposed to be able to come in there and duplicate that shit. That ain't going to never happen. So what I really come on your show tonight and say, <laughs> please stop the bleeding. I don't want no more damn calls. I don't want no more emails. I'm good on myself. I'm a beautiful black man. 65 years old, I'm beautiful. Got all my hair. Got my damn, you know, faculty together here. I don't need the bullshit. Y'all on some bullshit. Not you, Kendra, but they on some bullshit. They on some real bullshit. And this is why they so happy. Let me put it this way, Kendra. But I found out there's no spirituality in these relationships. And so a man want a woman to submit to him, but he don't want to submit to God. So they yeah. don't have no foundation. That's so this true. is why all this circular conversation is going on. I'm good by myself. I can go, I can go on a weekend, go out, and, I, and I'm, I'm very talkative person. I told that's my problem. I talk to a goddamn much, but I can introduce myself to any types of women, young women, old women, or whatever. I just got the type of woman I like to be with, and I ain't wanting for a relationship. I just wanted her to lease me, or I lease, uh, or I lease her for I a dance. That's, that's all. You said you wanted to lease a woman. Right. So I want her to lease me too. So they didn't hear that part. Okay. Are are you still trying to lease a woman before you go to Africa? Oh no. I I'm I'm on my own. I'm selling on my own. I just came over and say thank you for your time. Okay, so to be clear, you don't want nobody, you don't want to meet nobody anymore. Oh hell no. I told you a bunch of bullshit out there, especially on this internet. I do bad I could do good by myself. Just like I say, I'm six feet tall, 195 pounds. A nice looking man, got a nice jawbone, and I can slap that ass in the bedroom. So I don't really, you know, if I have to. What I'm saying is, they went in like, I think he can't get it up. I, I got some questions for you now. With that right there. I'm hold on, hold on, man. Dude, I get a break. Dude been going off, man. So I get it what he's saying, man. It's, it, it's getting crazy out here. And everybody want all these tricks and stuff in the bedroom, all this extra stuff they want just to date. You'd be better off just going off to another country on your own, man. You just find you somebody out there, just chilling and have some fun. That's all everybody want to do is have fun. All this extra demands. There's so many demands just to date somebody, male and female now. It's ridiculous. Everybody got to have $100,000, 
you got to pay for somebody's bills, you got to submit, you got to do all this. Man, is anybody even doing anything out here? It's crazy. But let's OG just finish out, man. But he's right. Y'all older ladies out here talking that trash, and y'all know y'all be pre-menopausal uh, and everything else. That shit happens. Y'all know it happens. And y'all try to talk about men and ED, but y'all do have that. And all this other fibroids and all this other girl stuff that go on that prohibits you from having sexual contact. And you got to stop thinking it's just us. Because we can just go get our testosterone check, take a pill, whatever, and that do be back up. But you can't do that. Think about it. Well, let's respond. Latin, okay, Lance Planning, Denise Gonzalez said, he don't want dry box. Meanwhile, his nuts are saggy and touching the toilet. See, water. that shit right there. Sir, please just age with grace alone. Okay. See, this is kind of bullshit I'm talking about. This woman don't know me from a can of paint or wherever she is. And I tell you what, if my nuts is dragging, I guarantee you I'm rolling my thing down like a damn cinnamon roll. What's going to happen over top of my nuts? And you won't be able to handle it anyway. So if I even have to put a popsicle stick and, and wrap it up with duct tape, you won't be able to have them. So don't worry about my nets, because some women like real big old nets. <laughs> Got another one? I, I do. Okay. Someone said, how, um, how would he know real love when he's 65, <laughs> unmarried, and <laughs> talking like he's 25? Because, number one, it was crazy. I've been taught all my life, you got to talk this, the, 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 you got to speak it in the terms that you people you speaking to. I'm talking to a lot of people who are on this site right now who are 45, 50, and they're not even 25, and they're acting like they're 25. I seen a girl the other day, damn near 50 years old, had a skirt on so short, you damn near see her social security number. She couldn't even sneeze. So don't be talking about the bullshit me talking. I'm telling you what is I'm saying. I'm ask everyone what is I'm saying that you can't identify mm -hmm. absolutely true in this street. Okay, okay. that's true. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Um, here's another one. Yeah. Um, so when you say lease a woman like a 2024 Nissan, can you get into detail? Well, y'all let the words twist. You know, you just let the little words twist you up and get you all untangled like you're wearing a damn g-string or something y'all don't know exactly what the hell i'm saying what i'm saying is i want a person that is not gonna get involved because i'm leaving in the country i'm not gonna get uh mentally involved with her it's just a person that hey she can call me up say look i got this event i need to go to i know you got that tuck in your closet and i need you to be there with me I could do the same thing for her. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about some moonlight bullshit, walking in the beach and doing all that other bullshit. That's romantic. That's for some persons who I really want to be involved with. I'm just talking about people who get a certain age and they don't have anybody in their life and they tired of taking their family members and they just want to have some company when they go out to special events. And I'm you, you people who go to the... To, to, to the fairs and shit like that. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about special events. See, I get that what he's saying. Because you understand, this man saying he's 65. So now he would date, you know, half his age plus seven. But he's talking about companionship and some other things. Now he want to find somebody he can do spend some time with. But here's like, he said, at least your companionship, time. Spend time with one another, doing something so you don't have to do it by yourself. A lot of people don't understand it, but older people should understand it because that's going to be your life one day. I mean, you might have to find somebody for companionship. A lot of women out here by themselves, and after a while, you got to, you know, your friend's going to meet up with somebody. Now, you can hope they don't and pray they don't, and some of y'all sabotage it that they don't, but they're going to meet somebody. And then they're going to meet up and hang out with a man or whatever because they always look, I'm telling you. Y'all can say what you want to say. People want to be with somebody. So y'all can stop all that. I see it. I see what the older people out here now. They older than me, and I see it. These 60, 70 year old people, they want to be with somebody. 
Well, so to go to carnival. I ain't talking about going to no circus or carnival. Like, you said nothing romantic like walking in the dark holding hands? Come on. Well, I'm in California. You better, your ass better not be walking in the dark holding hands here. You better be putting your hand on your gun. But, hey, see, I understand what you're saying. You go to the beach. No, I'm really just talking about, Kendra, you do a lot of things. You travel all over, right? And yeah. when you travel all over, I'm pretty sure if your man is not there, you have a friend that you can call. It don't have to be a male friend. It could be a female friend that you can call and say, look, I don't want to show up this event alone. You know what I mean? That's all I was talking about. I wasn't talking about leasing like you going out there and leasing some pussy or something. I wasn't even thinking about that. I can get that before I can get a good damn sandwich. You will Uber eat me some shit. I, I'm telling you. You can't even get a woman to cook for you. They'll Uber eat uh, Jordash you some bullshit that you ain't going to eat, not knowing who touched it. So I can get pussy before I can get all that. It. So it ain't never about pussy. But if I have to, I can lay the law down. There's new sheriff in the town. So just because y'all want me, y'all put me in a space because I'm a certain age and I pose to talk a certain kind of way and I pose to walk around and just be talking. No, that ain't me. I ain't never been that way. So I don't have my time. I got five kids, grown, doing good, none in jail, none on the corner of Figaro. So <laughs> it's my time to play now. So if you hate on me because I preserve myself and I'm ready to play, well, hey, what can I say? Okay. Okay. So that's that's the OG just stepped up in here. Um, I'm down with old brother, man, what he's saying. When you're getting older, you don't, you're not going to be doing the same chicks. Like you, some of you ladies, that's where y'all messing up. But I'm be honest. You trying to compete with these younger girls. Yeah, these older guys want the younger girls, but they still will pick some of you. But y'all can't come out and trying to dress and act like them and thinking that it's going to work. Some of you just don't have it like that. Now, some of you, y'all kept yourselves up and you're going to get some attention. You're going to always get some attention until you get wherever. But a lot of you didn't do it. Let's just be real. And so it's hard. It's going to be hard. But y'all got to listen to what the brother's saying. He he know where he's at in his life. He know what he can do. And, hey, man, the dude funny as I don't know what. He know. He got his money. He got nothing else going on. He in and out the country. He's kind of living his life right now. It's just weird out here, and I'm listening to all these people, especially these older people, talk as if they got it rocking like that, and they really don't. So, guys, that's all I got on this. I hope y'all enjoyed the OG. He had me dying laughing, that's for sure. And uh, I appreciate your time. Let me know what y'all think about the video, and I'm up out of here. It's your boy, Mr. Nobody, and I'm up out of here. Y'all stay vibing. Peace. <laughs>